Bitcoin only cause I got that mad cheddar Bitches and Bitcoin go so good together Make it rain with Bitcoin cause I like it way better Hi everyone, welcome to Crypto Mama's channel This is Shaibo Mama Today we are taking a look at how smart money manipulates the market using the head and shoulder pattern and this particular video is actually a continuation from our last video so if you have not watched that particular video make sure you click the link in the description of this video to watch that video before we we'll get started if you are new here make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss on my future videos as and when i upload them in my last video on this particular topic of how smart money manipulates the market using the head and shoulder pattern i told you the market always starts with what a floor and get to what a ceiling and in a floor we expect the market to be making higher highs and higher lows as the market is moving up and at a certain level this is where retail traders have marked as their point of interest or resistance or supply zone or whatever name you want to give to it and at this zone is where retail traders want to be selling the market at so when my price hit this zone most people will sell here they will sell the market all the way to a level like here and smart money will come into the market and buy the market take the market above their entry points to trigger their stop losses bring the market to their entry point to do another thing that is to trap those who are thinking the market has broken out of that resistance so they bring the market to this level take it above sell massively and bring the market back to this level again cover their lungs and let the market do what melt down to where they want to take the market to so this is the same particular scenario we are going to demonstrate how it actually happens in a real chart so we'll be using gbp jpy for this particular analysis when we come to gbp jpy on the daily chart this particular area here is what it's a very strong area the market has respected several times the market came all the way up hit that level melt down came back melt down came back here and now it looks like the market is trading above it but unfortunately it is not and this area here this all this price action all this price action that looks like the market has broken above is what smart money uses to manipulate retail traders so because the thing is that when the market is coming here retail traders have marked that level the banks have also marked that level everyone wants to short at that level but not everyone will make money because someone has to lose money to someone for someone to make money that's why trading is basically a zero-sum game there should be a loser for a winner and for every winner there's a loser also so at this level everyone has marked this level down and banks will not just take price to that level and let it sell all the way they have to they know they are going to sell here but they have to do what manipulate everyone to believe in the market is not going to sell before they sell so we have marked that level in our daily chart and also let's go to something like the four hour and you see how this actually works out you see as the market was coming up the market is making higher highs and higher lows until here market came here retail traders will do what who have marked this level will short right away and smart money does what they buy to the market above and trigger their stop losses bring the market up take it here 
and sell massively break their market down again and take the market here again to mitigate what their lungs then bring the market and break it uh, below the neckline as most retailer traders uh, say trade it again before actually melting the market to where they want to take the market to so here you can see that from here this is where retail, retail traders are looking at to sell most retail traders will sell here the bounce will then buy here take the market above and trigger the stop losses of retail traders bring the market here then at this place they will buy again at this place they are buying but they are not buying to uh do what take the market higher they are buying to sell we call it buy to sell because they cannot just take the market all the way down they have big money and they have to shift their orders small 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 until they are what net short before they take the market down so they will buy here to put breakout traders at the wrong side of the market take the market above a little it might it, it could have even been something like this they could have stopped it around here or make it a little wing a, a swing but here they took it above the old high the high here then did what they melted them when they come here this is where they sell this is either either they sell massively they will sell here and bring the market all the way down here to this area then at this area again they will buy and they will buy purposely to do what to bring the market up to this area you no know, they, they, they they bought here so you need to bring the market to this area to do what to take uh the orders they bought here when they bring the market here they will now close those trades at what break even or in a little loss or in a little profit so after bringing the market here they close all the longs they took here they will close all the longs they took at break even then when they do that they will sell the market again and that will then do what break the market below uh the level retail traders always call the neckline which is this area here and after that you see the market formed here the m pattern i've been telling you about the market formed this m pattern here and after form that pattern, if expected to go to the neckline and this what is currently doing so as, after we mitigate that neckline we expect the market to sell back again so basically this is how smart money manipulates the market using the head and shoulder pattern so thank you for watching and i'll see you in another video but also don't forget to uh, leave your comment on any topic or anything you don't understand in trading that you want me to explain for you so thank you for watching